but it wasn't your favorite series of the festival for me i feel like uh family like ours uh by the the hunt and another round director thomas winterberg uh wasn't able to to top disclaimer I gave it the same rating. I can already tell you that, though. Uh, it also, uh, well, it had, uh, no, this other one had seven. This had eight episodes. Seven. And um, is it about, oh, is it, a family that guy was at, had eight. I'm pretty sure it had eight. I thought it was seven. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Because the second one, is it eight? No, it's four and four. Oh, it's four it and was four. four and four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. And uh, it is, uh, no, no worries. And then uh, it is about like Denmark a few years into the future, uh, where it basically shuts down the entire country. And suddenly, everyone within the span of a year is becoming a refugee uh, and has to uh, seek asylum in other European countries. And you basically get that perspective from a pretty overall privileged country. And how quickly you lose all of that. And I think it's like uh, very cleverly without like pointing at any of, of that, like uh, really show, showcasing that hypocrisy that when it comes from within, how quickly that can turn. It's like, oh, they are different now, right? Just because they need, and even even though like the culturally they they or like um ethnically they would be like closer to the rest of Europe, that it really is about like that seeking help that um alienates um them immediately and i think it's like then it becomes like uh, what are these other countries going to do about like family like ours when we are in need of help and that's at the center of this uh whole show uh i thought that the debut um performance from um going to butcher her name uh amelis april august she is basically the, the female lead, uh, I think a 19-year-old she plays. Uh, she, I think she nailed it. She was really strong and a lot of the story relate, uh, uh, relied on her. And then her father as well, Nicolas Lee Kass, uh, was another like big standout. I think all of the performances are really good. The story was great. Uh, I really ducked this one. Uh, yeah, Kev, what did you think? No, well, I, 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 I want an attempt at those names. On my release, April, I was just and Nicolai Lee Kass. I think that hey, was so that much be hey, better. They should they should watch they should watch our review and then let us know who of us said it better. Right? right. I'd, I'd love to talk to them uh, <laughs> about the show. Uh, but yeah, uh, but, yeah. Uh, we had also the privilege to go to the public screenings of families like ours, which meant the cast and crew was there, which was very nice mm. to have. You no know, obvious standing ovation uh, both times. Uh, that's a typical Venice thing, and we totally contributed to that in the both screenings but yeah i love the questions of what if denmark uh what if all of denmark had to leave the country because of uh mm -hmm. rising water levels uh you know and the fun funny thing is right uh, even the netherlands in the show already had to do that so you know they're not the first uh yeah. which is uh an intrigue intriguing to to hear right so you also wonder like oh how will denmark treat with it then uh, because, you know, there is already, uh, you know, the whole of Netherlands had to evacuate and you wonder, oh, so like there is even less space, you know, in the other countries because of all the Dutch people that live there. Uh, but I found it incredibly smart to not put a date on when this happens. So, you know, this series could be a warning to the yeah. future, even if we're past the supposed date this series takes place in. But I found it incredibly riveting to see how much Winterberg packs into this series, you know. Uh, you got a society that is in a downward spiral, right? Everyone is losing mayhem, things get robbed, people are losing their minds about money. Uh, you, you got a romance going on between the two uh, teenagers in the series. You got immigration. You got family separation. We, there is a documentary uh about family separation but i thought this one was the most impactful one uh of the of the whole festival and you know there's even plenty more stuff that gets tackled into this series that i don't really want to like dive into because of spoilers but i thought it was absolutely riveting uh you didn't think the uh series landed that well i thought it did yeah uh, you know uh you you were thinking i uh, the four, first four episodes were great i thought the first three episodes were great then you had four that had me kind of uh, i thought it was a bit iffy right but i thought maybe uh mm. episode four 
is a great jumping pad towards the rest to the second half of the series and for me it was exactly that uh, i really really like this one uh Winterberg obviously hasn't done anything bad in my opinion yet so i'm really curious as to what he will follow up uh, with next i think i think for me the second half has like one hinging moment where i feel like i would have embraced a even darker interpretation of the like consequence of of some of what some of the characters are going through and I, I i think i missed something early on where like it was clear that it wasn't heading into that direction so my exp expectations were wrongly aligned going into like those final two episodes uh but i thought it was really really strong where like the frustration that you feel alongside these characters who are just trying to find a place to live and try to be together yeah, but they still come from a place of privilege you know yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. okay well maybe you need to like i feel like some i feel like sometimes you need to compromise a bit like they did and, and then from there on they're like not the easiest to root for at all points they also make like some super dumb decisions and um yeah makes it I'm, makes I, it thrilling i for wouldn't call them dumb i wouldn't call them quite impulsive impulsive yeah they're impulsive yeah. yeah they're very impulsive i know i give it a, a did you already give your rating i give it an eight and a half out like, of ten for me it's for me it's an eight uh same as as disclaimer but yeah i'd have them like right up against each other 